CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. <clears throat> okay, well, today we're heading up to Poser Mountain. My nemesis. Be a bush bushwhack. Hopefully, uh, I can summit, get a few contacts, and have some fun. So, let's get her done. Okay, I'm at the more or less trailhead. Um, got Poser Mountain right there behind me. And I'm gonna go up this ridge here. Uh, looks like a, I know not to go up the canyon or the ravine there. Learn my lesson there. Poor little rabbit. Might be an actual easier access up the backside of Poser if you look at the topos. But uh, I know we can get up this way. It's a bit of a bushwhack, but um, We'll see how it goes. It's a beautiful, clear morning. Uh, so, should be interesting. And when I say bushwhack, there's kind of some natural drainage, if you will, animal trails and things that I can follow up through here. Um, which is kind of how it was last time. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay. There's the peak, just kind of making my way up to this ridge here, <clears throat> best way I can. It's when you get into the really tall stuff that uh, is a real bear. <clears throat> Hopefully we can circumnavigate that. <clears throat> and I uh, get up that little saddle there. That's my uh, reference anyway. But uh, we'll see where the path takes us. Definitely stay out of the ravines. They'll be full of water today too because it was raining pretty hard a couple days ago. So I gave it a day to dry out. So we'll get going here. Ravine's pretty dry. Doesn't look too overgrown. Looks like a better path than either side of it. So I'll give that a shot and see how it goes. You're looking at the saddle that I pointed out earlier, about 20, 30 feet above me. And then I'll make my way across that ridge over to Poser. I'm following the kind of natural breaks where I can. Uh, you can see one here that I'll probably follow a little bit. Tiny bit of water. The ground is damp and soft. Um, just trying to make sure I don't tear anything up, step on anything living. So, just take your time. You too can climb a peak, get a view, and hopefully screw around with the radio. Let's see. Yeah, I'll turn around. Freeway over there. Looking out toward the ocean. If it was clear, you'd probably be able to see the ocean from here. I reckon we may be able to see it from the top, so. All right, as Mike Patey would say. Back to work. The ridge always looks closer than it actually is. <laughs> I don't know why that is. Mountains, everything look closer. Um, it is slow going just because you have to Stop, find a new route, follow that. Um, as you can see, some natural paths in here. Um, I saw deer last time I was up here. So, um, maybe we'll get to see one today. Skinny little mama. But, uh, Oh, 
path up here. I'm on the ridge, kind of above that lowest point in the saddle there. Um, you're looking at uh, Poser, and we'll go off to the east here, northeast actually. Um, snow in the mountains over there, and then you have that one covered in snow. I think that might be. Kuyamaka, not positive in the distance. I'll look it up on the chart. You'll be able to, uh, there's a link to my uh, route that I took. I'll put it in the uh, description here on the video. All right, there's a little bit of, a couple little patches of snow up here. So I had to walk through the snow to get up here. <laughs> you know, this, uh, Little mound here, it's 37.78 according to the Jeeps. So, give or take. Uh, interesting, they got snow down this low, but uh, uh, that's cool. And yeah, it's probably been colder than hell up here, but still around. Okay, that's where I came from, along that ridge there. And um, I'm on the summit. I reckon that's as good a marker as any. I don't see the marker up here, but I do see an old fence post that was here last time I last on to. There was something else on it last time. Looking down into the valley there, uh, maybe the House Indian Reservation down there, not sure. I think so. Pretty day, beautiful weather. Uh, love the way the sun hits El Cajon. I don't like hiking it, but um, it is kind of a pretty mountain. A little bit of snow up here, or ice left over. Um, so, I think I'll get to work. Summit to summit, summit to summit. Uh, 
Yeah, Roger, Roger. Uh, sounds great. Uh, glad to hear you guys summited okay. Hey, uh, real quick, what's your summit uh, designator, please? Okay, I'm at uh, Sierra Charlie 397. Sierra Charlie 397. Copy SC 397, and we're at 002. Uh, Charlie Tango 002. And zero OI, uh, glad to talk to you again, and uh, nice summit to summit, man. Uh, I've never snowshoed up there. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty beat. <laughs> yeah, what'll be easy? You guys are going to ski down, or are you going to uh, snowshoe down? Snowshoe. I wish we were skiing. <laughs> awesome, dude. All right, we'll pick up a few contacts. Uh, I uh, have done my first, uh, I started my activation with CW, so kind of a first for me. Roger, Roger, same to you guys. Uh, be careful on the way down. Thanks, 73. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie up on Poser. Uh, any other chasers out there? Kilo Romeo 6, Romeo Golf, International Border. I got KR6RG. Uh, this is Kilo Mike 3 Alpha. How do you read me? I'm on uh, San Jacinto. San Jacinto. Yep, you're uh, about a 5 and 8. 5 and 8. Copy here in the border. Good build. You're a 59569, and I got November 0, Austria, India here. KR6RT, send 0Y, you're 59 on San Jacinto. Okay, copy 59 San Jacinto, KR6RT. 73, thanks. KR6RG on 1CLC, I got you 59. Okay, I'll take that 59 as well. Awesome, dude, thanks. And you're 59 as well. Roger, roger. CQ, CQ, CQ for November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, Summit's on the air, Whiskey 6, Sierra Charlie, uh, 3, 9, or 7. November Whiskey 7 Echo. November Whiskey 7 Echo, uh, QSL. November Whiskey 7 Echo, QSL. Uh, Mary, I got you, uh, uh, let's see about a 5-8, 5-8, 5-8, over. QSL, 5 and 5, 55, 5 and 5 in Oregon, over. Roger. On Poser Mountain, got my points today. Unlike last time where I got uh, three contacts and then left. <laughs> Not knowing that I needed four. Anyway, I got a bunch today. Today's the first time that I started with CW. Um, I spotted myself. People are really cool with repeating and uh, their call signs and coming again and going slow for me. So I'm slow. Um, I didn't butcher it too bad this time. Um, it was nice to, to talk to some of the past contacts that I've had on voice and do it via CW. Um, the call signs would come, I'd, I'd see their call signs as, as I was jotting them down, I was like, hey, I know that guy. So W0MNA, thank you. Uh, W0ERI, thanks Gary and Martha. Uh, that was very cool. Um, so, and Charles and a few others, thank you very much. A uh, lot of fun up here, activating, um, not so much fun going through the bushwhack, but you know, that, that is what it is up here. Um, so this isn't too bad a summit, it's a big one pointer. Um, let's see if I can put, I don't know if you can see it, but El Cajon behind me. And then I'm gonna swing around and see if I can't point the camera. Right at uh, El Cajon Mountain, or excuse me, uh, it's not El Cajon, Cuyameca, Cuyameca Peak, so, um, and I think Middle Mountain to the left there. So that was fun, good little hike up here. Uh, VHF contact up to Malvaldi, I uh, talked to some guys at Snowshoot up there, or yeah, San Gregorio, so that was pretty cool. Uh, a lot of fun actually, uh, VHF uh, to uh, uh, another guy down in San Diego, down at the border who's always there uh, on the HT. So basically three contacts via HT, no problemo. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna head back down. Um, there are some paths that I've been following, so I haven't, I haven't uh, had to step on any new growth and tear stuff up. 
which is good. So I'm gonna call it a successful activation. Um, I guess it was really a success if you get back in the car. So let's see that first. Off we go. Okay, heading, uh, looking down at the peak there, from the peak, down to the vehicle. Um, so, don't go straight, don't go down that gully, that is a real bugger. That really tall uh, chaparral is just killer. Go back the way I came up, which is down over this ridge here, and then down. So, uh, not just this side of that peak, then I'll head down on that side. Uh, you do not want to take that ravine. Although if you do, you might find a radio down there. But uh, let's not talk about that. First of all, the trip. It's all good. It's all good. <sighs> Rocks gave way. <sighs> Gotta make sure I go down the other side of this ridge here. Kind of lost my trail. I just know that I don't want to go down that ravine. And the more do you go, that way, the uh, higher and thicker the chaparral goes. I'm pretty much threading between it right now. So, no problemo. Just need to get over this left side of this ridge here. And just going in between. Making sure not to step on anything that's trying to grow. Look, there's the car. It's still here. Sweet. <clears throat> it's always a fun bushwhack down, but a thousand times better than the last time I was up here. And I got my points. 